I'm Ali. And I'm Ollie. Coming up this week, we look at the fundraising efforts going on around Leeds in aid of the Breakthrough Breast Cancer Campaign. And we take a look at the university's drive to get more students to recycle. Not forgetting the weather and the essential question. Now over to Lucinda, who's been sorting through the rubbish in order to get to the bottom of the university's recycling initiative. This may be a little smaller than your average house, but did you know, in Leeds this year alone, over 332,924 tonnes of waste has been collected? Here at Leeds University, some students are campaigning to bring that figure down. Ben Fisher is the university's community officer. I wanted to find out why he finds this issue so important. Why is it so important that we start recycling now? Well, there's so much movement in the city around sort of targets with carbon emissions and climate change more generally. People are realising that we need to do a lot more now uh, to meet the, the targets that have been set by the council and generally to make sure that the future is a bit better. Um, and a lot of movements also come from the Better Leads Forum. A lot of ideas were put through last year which we're only starting to implement now. So it's, it's kind of a mixture of a few different reasons. There's been criticism in the Yorkshire Post about students leaving 700 tonnes of waste in the Hyde Park Headley area. Is this campaign a kind of response to that? No, not at all. The Yorkshire Post article was actually completely wrong. Um, it took a, a council uh, press release really out of context and made it seem like there were 700 tonnes of waste just dumped in, in the area. It's not true at all. It's something that happens every year and it's something that we've been working with the council on for about five years now, so there's no response to that at all. There's been work with Green Streets. What did that get up to over the summer? So Green Streets is part of a wider initiative to make sure that the impact of changeover on, um, on the local area isn't too big. Um, so they've been collecting loads of reusable stuff, things like pots and pans, duvets, shoes, clothes, like anything at all that's reusable, and then distributing them in free shops, both in Leeds University Union and around uh, in community centres around the area. Um, this year we collected 11 tonnes of reusable materials just from halls alone. We also partnered with um, a hospice, St Gemma's Hospice, which is a local uh, local charity, um, and they collected a further three tonnes, which are then sold in their um, their charity shops. It's been quite active this year. Well, thanks very much for your time, Ben. We yeah, has been getting pampered all in aid of fundraising for breakthrough breast cancer. This October is the 25th anniversary of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I've come down to the Mind, Body and Beauty show, which is raising awareness for the cause. Let's go take a look at what's going on. One woman in eight will be diagnosed with breast cancer in her lifetime. About 48,000 women and 340 men are diagnosed with breast cancer every year. Around 80% of women diagnosed today will be alive in five years' time. Survival rates have increased because of greater awareness of breast cancer symptoms. Why did you choose Leeds to host this event and to raise awareness about breast cancer? Um, because we thought that Leeds had a, a quite diverse um, range of um, beauty treatments and you know there are lots of beauty salons and obviously women go to beauty salons so we just thought it was a great, great thing to do. We've got some fantastic exhibitors here um, today that, that are going to be here for the whole weekend and uh, we just hope that people come along and um, benefit from the treatments that we're doing throughout the weekend. So what's the main way that you're hoping to raise awareness? Um, basically by just letting people come along today, have treatments, talk to us, talk to the guys from Breast Cancer Campaign, have a look at our website and just exactly raise awareness about the charity and what they do and how they work. I've been trained to be a channel for energy. So um, according to energy healing, when there's illness in the body, it's preceded by um, a disruption in the energy flow in the aura or the energy field. And so by channeling energy, I can, um, I can unravel those energetic knots. There's lots of different activities happening here today. Tai Chi is just one of the many seminars and classes that are being run throughout the day. And later on, there's lots of other exciting things like Zumba, and there's also a seminar for well-being. 
What's the product about? What's the main aim? Basically, it's called the ultimate body applicator. You apply it to your, you know, desired area, so troubled, you know, tummy, thighs, arms. You leave it for 45 minutes and basically reduces the size of your fat cells. So as well as detoxifying your body, it basically just reduces the size, which means that you see inch loss after 45 minutes. It's my turn to get pampered now. It's been a really nice and relaxing day here and I hope that they raise lots of money and awareness about breast cancer. This is Olivia reporting for The Essential. And now over to Freddie, who's been looking at the new speaker systems and stylus and asking what the students of Leeds University make of it. As we all know, going out is a staple part of the student lifestyle. And this week, Leeds University has attracted national attention to the review of its new sound system for one of its flagship nightclubs, Stylus, in Total Production magazine. The £100,000 LA Acoustic Cara equipment has replaced the old equipment, which was nearly 10 years old. A profit of £200,000 over the next 10 years is expected to be made. I spoke to Ryan Essen, the Leeds University Union's technician manager, to see what news the new PA system will mean for the university. The, the old PA system was 10 years old um, and was outdated for the sort of purpose of the venue, um, with the academy sort of taking all the live gigs out of, out of the refectory, on most of them anyway. Um, we put a lot more live gigs on in Stylus um, and need to be able to to be able to provide a PA system that could be versatile basically to work for live gigs and club club events. Everybody that I, I've come into contact with has sort of commented on the improvement of it. Obviously the lead student paper um, had sort of feature on it. Um, they they said that um, the feedback that they'd received was really good. Obviously the main people that I come into contact with are tour managers, sound engineers, um, promoters for clubs and so on and, and the feedback's been sort of thankfully like really really good. Let's hear what the students of Leeds University have to say about the investment. I think it's a good investment personally. I, I couldn't think of anything else I'd spend the money on and it does sound awesome so what do you think Alex? I think it's too loud because I keep on uh, talking to the girls and can't hear them. It's great yeah it's really changed the whole experience of going out in the union. It's uh, really really loud. It's pretty Intense. Do you think that it's a worthwhile investment then? Yeah, I think it will be because obviously there's a lot of um, DJs and bands that come through Stylus as well as the Uni's club nights. And um, I think if there's a better sound, then they're more likely to have better gigs and in turn come back and get more money. Well, I think it's ridiculous. I mean, if the Union was all about creating a social hub, fine, but it's about catering to various different needs and £100,000 is a complete waste of resources. Potentially a bit excessive, but it sounds really good down there, so... You know, what's to complain about? So it seems that amongst students here at Leeds, opinions divided whether the money was spent well or not. While some agree that it's an excellent investment and it will attract more big-name bands to the union, others think the money could be spent more wisely. This is Freddie Cook reporting for The Essential. Let's find out if this cold spell is going to last. It's time to get this week's weather forecast. As you can see, today is quite cloudy. Tomorrow, we'll bring in the first of the rain showers and by Friday, we'll see heavy rain with lows of 8 and highs of 12. So folks, get out those wellies. By the time Sunday comes, you may not need those wellies as we'll start to see the first of the sun bringing us into the new week. Here's this week's essential question with a sporty theme. Hi, we're LSTV and today we'll be asking the essential question. Should Wayne Rooney go to the 2012 Euro game? He's just been given a red card and so we'll miss the first three test matches. If we qualify, should the guy who's been scoring his goals get to the bench and Wayne Rooney play? Right, let's go and ask some people. Can we just quickly ask you one question? It's about football. Oh. Will you help me out? Oh, you're such a liar. You are. Yeah. And you reckon we might find some more talent with him? Sure. More talent than Wayne Rooney? Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh no, I reckon it should have been reviewed because it wasn't really a red card. What did he do? He may or may have not have kicked someone. 
without the ball. Okay. <laughs> so he's just fired it on the pitch? A little bit, but it didn't look as bad on replays. Do you not think the guy who's been like scoring his goals during those test, test matches, test matches, yeah, um, should be given an opportunity? Like We might find some more talent with him. No, Wayne Rooney is... He's the dogs. Sorry, do you mind if I just ask you one question? Really, really quickly. Do you think Wayne Rooney should be playing in the 2012 test um, qualifying match? Please come here. Right, just got a quick question. Really quick. Do you think Wayne Rooney should be in the 2012? No, he's a man. No, no, definitely not. He's a man. You don't like him? You don't think he's talented? He's a passion for his country. Um, from that, I wouldn't say it was fair, but then again, I don't really know the situation. I didn't watch the game, so I can't really comment. But um, Do you like Wayne Rooney? I like Colleen, but <laughs> yeah, that's really that way. Same yeah, um, yeah, I don't, I don't, couldn't say I really follow the football, okay. but um, from OK Magazine, I don't like the sound of him. <laughs> that's okay, that was the essential question from NSTV. I think overall. People don't think Wayne Rooney should be playing in that match and they should give way to some more talent. So um, that's it for us for this week. See you later. What do we have time for this week? Thank you for watching. And remember, you can catch us online at www.lstv.co.uk. And remember, if it's going on in or around your union, it's, it's essential. essential.